Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will discuss the first problem of Loot Code Weekly Contest 301. Uh, it's an easy level problem. The problem name is minimum amount of time to fill cups. So the problem statement says that you have a water dispenser that can dispense cold, warm and hot water. Now every second you can either fill two cups with different types of water or one cup of any particular type of water, right? Uh, you are given zero index integer array amount of length 3 where amount of 0, 1 and 2 denote the number of cold, warm and hot water cups you need to fill respectively. Now return the minimum number of seconds needed to fill up all the cups. Right. Uh, so the problem says that you have a dispenser which has which can dispense three types of water cold, warm and hot water. Okay. You are also given certain targets that okay i need to fill this much this many cups of cold warm and hot water respectively and at every particular second at, at every second what you can do you can either fill two cups with different types of water like at at, at a particular point of time you can fill uh, either cold cold and warm water warm or hot water cold and hot water like any any combine any two of them out of the, those three or you can fill one cup of one particular type of water right so these are the two options we need to tell the minimum number of seconds needed to fill up all the cups right let's look into the first example so that is uh, one four and three so that means uh, it is the order is cold warm and hot right so we need to fill uh, one cup of cold four cups of warm and two cups of hot water right so one way to fill the cups is uh, in the in the first second what you do you fill up a cold cup and a warm up warm cup right so now the cold one is complete we needed to fill just one 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 cup of cold water that's complete and we also have one cup of warm water now now in the second sec uh, in the in the second iteration what you do you fill up a warm and a hot hot cup and then in the third again you fill, fill uh, a warm and a hot cup and then last you fill, fill up a warm up so uh, let's let's try to see uh, this with the help of an example so it says that uh, so the example was 1 4 and 2 right so what we can do at the first second at the first second uh, mm. we can probably pick up these two we can pick up these two so right now suppose we sort it so the the order is 4 2 and 1 forget about which type of water uh, like which type of uh, water needs how many cups and all it's just that we need 4 2 and 1 right so what we can do let's pick up these two and the greedy approach will work here because we need to return the minimum number of seconds that means we need to fill up maximum number of cups um, at, at any particular point of time right so for this we need four cups for this we need two for this we need one so let's pick up these two four and two so now what will happen if we fill these two so it will become three one and one so this became three this became one and this remained one right now again what we can do in the second second what we can do again pick up the maximum two that is three and one right pick up three and one now what these will become these will become two zero and one again sort it this becomes two one zero right why we are sorting it is because we always pick up the maximum two because it says tell us the minimum amount of time right so that means pick up the maximum two right pick up the maximum two and fill 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 the cups of those two types of water right so now it becomes 210 now again fill up uh, pick up maximum two so in the third iteration what we can do this becomes one this becomes zero this becomes zero right this becomes one this becomes zero this becomes zero. now this is the only remaining one so in the fourth iteration what we can do we can make it zero 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 right so how how much total time we, we took it was one two three and four right uh, let's look into another example that was given so it was second was five four four now we saw that we are always picking the maximum two right let's take any particular let, let's take any other order right instead of sorting and let's suppose we in the first second what we do we, we take we take these two right so what what will what these will become four three three right suppose in the second second we take again we take these two so it becomes five two two right uh, in the third one suppose we take any other combination like for example if we take these two so it becomes four 
वन एंड टू ना सपोज इन दी फोर्थ आइट्रेशन लेट्स लेट्स टेक दीज टू सो इट बिकम्स फोर जीरो एंड वन राइट इट बिकम्स फोर जीरो एंड वन नाउ वॉट वी डू इन दी फिफ्थ हाइट्रेशन वॉट वी डू वी टेक दीज टू इट बिकम्स थ्री जीरो जीरो राइट इन दिस सिक्स हाइट्रेशन दिस बिकम्स टू सेवेंथ इट बिकम्स वन इन दी एथ हाइट्रेशन इट बिकम्स जीरो सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ हाइट्रेशन नीडेड हेयर इज एट राइट हाउ एवर हाउ एवर इफ वी टेक दी अप्रोच दैट वी डिस्कस्ड इन दी फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सो वट वी डू वी डू वी वी टेक दी मैक्सिमम टू सो इनिशियली इट इज फाइव फोर फोर वी टेक दी मैक्सिमम टू सो इट बिकम्स फोर फोर थ्री एंड फोर राइट सो लेट्स टेक इट इन सॉर्टेड ऑल राइट सो फोर थ्री फोर If we sort it, it becomes four four three. This is the first iteration. What about the second iteration? Again, take max two. It becomes three three three. Take the third iteration. It becomes two two three. Again, sort it. So it becomes three two two. At every step, we are sorting it. Here it was three three three. So that was already sorted, right? Uh, let's talk about the fourth iteration. So three two two. So it becomes two one two. Again, sort it to two two one. Now this is the for fifth iteration. Take these two. It becomes one, one, one. That is already sorted. That is already sorted. Let's come to the sixth iteration, right? So take max two. It becomes zero, zero, one. Again sorted. One, zero, zero. We came to the seventh iteration. It became zero, zero, zero. This was the only remaining one. So here, in total, we are taking seven iterations. And in the initial, in the in the in the initial approach, we took eight iterations, right? Eight iterations. so that means picking up the maximum uh, values and basically decreasing them together is 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 the optimal approach here right so for for this we'll be taking up a priority queue let's look into the implementation now uh, just a second yeah so this is the implementation uh, i've taken a priority queue and uh, inserted all the three values in the priority queue uh, um, on line number 3 we can see that i have written collections dot reverse order because we want a max max Uh, priority queue max heap right because we want the max element to be at the top right now from line number eight what we are doing we are we are iterating till priority queue is not empty so we take out one element now if the only element if the only element in the priority queue is zero that means all the cups are filled our requirement is fulfilled we'll just break the loop else what we do we check is the priority queue empty because Uh, as we saw in the second example, it was one zero zero, right? So that means there will be only one element in the priority queue. The other non-zero, uh, other zero elements will not be pushed into the priority queue. So, the line number thirteen means if you have only one element in the priority queue, then that means you need that number of iterations, right? Because at at a particular point of time, you can fill one particular type of cup or uh, two cups of different types. But there is only one type of Uh, rec uh, cup requirement remaining, so that means answer will be incremented by x. That is uh, the the number that we pulled out and we break the loop. Else, if we have more than one element in the priority queue, so line number seventeen, we pull out that element as well. We increment the answer, and if we decrement the count of both both of them, because we have filled a cup each of these two uh, these two type of water, right? So if x minus one is greater than zero, then add pq then pq dot at x minus one, and if y minus Uh, one is greater than zero. P Q to that y minus one. Finally, we keep on doing this, and um, at last we return the answer, right? So, yeah, that's that's the approach of this problem. And uh, yeah, hope you like this video. Please do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any queries, do mention that in the comments. I'll try to answer each one of them. Thanks you. Thank you.